Okay, everyone. Are you ready for this Romer adventure? Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Good morning, everyone. Shane here. And Michael. Uh, we are doing something pretty exciting today. It's actually the weekend, uh, the week of Thanksgiving. And Michael and I are doing a Raycon. Yep. We usually like to have Thanksgiving somewhere else. Yeah, we always, <laughs> we always go out, our families, we always go out for Thanksgiving. And we're always working, so we figured let's let's combine it. Let's like do Thanksgiving slash um, uh, reconnaissance for an upcoming Romer adventure. So this is to all you Romers out there. What's a Romer again? A Romer is somebody that bought a trailer from RVs of America. Yeah. So this would be good for all you future Romers. Also, yeah. So we are going to do a recon, and we're right now. Um, Portrero, Portrero, close, oh, yeah. yeah, on the border of California and Mexico. We're going Baja down, California. We're going down to Baja California, which is Mexico. So we're pretty excited um, over here. We got my tow rig. I'll show you what we got going. I'm gonna be sporting the power wagon, the ROA power wagon with 35 inch tires. We'll show you the light show later. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> we just got a taser on it. Check this out, I got the McHitch ROA wagon. And then this is my rig that I will be towing. This is my HQ-17. I did some upgrades on it just before coming. Maybe I'll show that to you later on in the trip, but got some cool little stuff going. Now, Michael, show you. Let's find out what Michael's got. All right, I got my beautiful Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. I got 37 inch tires. <laughs> and we got our nice RVs of America. So it can pull 7,000 pounds. So some of the trailers we have are kind of heavy, so we've been trying to find some lighter and different trailers. And so I'm debuting our new trailer that we have begun to sell. And this is the Explorer Made in America. Super amazing trailer. Just go to the back side of it. So they look at these tires, actually. Even... They got fake bead locks. <laughs> Make it look actually awesome. Huge tires. Too. Huge tires. Heavy duty. Overrated for the trailer. And here's the back. Got great storage. Oh, racks. The top, the top, the rooftop tent. There's a rooftop tent. So this Extra is sleeping. Cool. So this sleeps technically six. Six. People yeah, you can sleep you sleep six people. Um, and it with the rooftop tent, sleeping too. Even gives you a nice jack, a jack. high lift jack. And this thing does lift, so it's it's in the lower mode, so it goes up to like. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Head. We'll show you. Yeah, we will show you. And this is actually a toy hauler door, so you can actually store more things in it, like bikes or four wheeler. Super cool. Okay. So there you have it. There's our uh, tow rigs, our new, uh, well, my trailer, old trailer, Michael's new trailer. Pretty excited about it. We are going to head over to the border to get our visas and show our passports and cross the border. We're pretty excited. I've never been to Baja. I mean, I've been there on cruises. Yeah, which is it's an honor. You stop in one little teeny spot. You're not driving any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, so this is. And we're pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be a huge adventure. Yeah, a huge adventure. And depending on how well it goes and how we feel about it, we're gonna end up doing a Romer adventure. So prepare for this one. That one's gonna be an exciting one for everybody. 
um, for all of our roamers, all the RVs of America um, owner, trailer owners. So thanks for watching. We're not gonna, this is not gonna be crazy in depth. We just kind of wanted to show us a few tidbits of this trip down there. So see you in a bit. Here we are. Michael. We're going to cross the border, get some visas. Yeah, I guess we can't drive the trailers across, so it's easy because there's nowhere to park. So we're gonna walk across, get our visas. Yeah, this is my first time. I've never been. First time. Woohoo! Oh, she's going the right way through the the spindle. We're walking through the street. Courtney, where are we going? Where? Huh? At the beach. At the beach, Mexico. Mexico. Oh, we should get a beach. We're in Mexico. Are you excited, Becca? Woo! On the back. Here we come. So yeah, we just crossed over the border, and now we're on our way to Ensenada. Uh, it went really quick and easy and smooth. It was. Not stressful at all. Crossing the border with the trailer and all of that. Super fast. Yeah, super fast. So, and they're real nice. All excited to look and walk through your trailer. <laughs> so, we are so excited. Here we are coming on down the big old hill. So, we'll keep you updated on our trail. We are now in Ensenada making our way down to our first campsite tonight on the beach. I believe we'll be about an hour south of Ensenada. We got in a uh, couple hours ago. It was already dark, so we couldn't, you can't quite see, but Right over this sand hill is the ocean. You might be able to hear the waves crashing. But we got in and a local came, got us some tamales and we got a little fire going over here on the other side of Michael. And we're just getting ready to, everybody's getting ready to go to bed. We ate guacamole salsa and tamales and now we're getting ready to head head in for the night but man this thing lights up that's for sure this one does too this had a lot of lights on but he turned them off already our fires over here still going probably Okay, well, we're ready to call it a night, so we'll see you in the morning in our upcoming Roamer adventure. This will be the first or second night that we stay out, but have a nice night. See you in the morning. Morning, Courtney. How you doing? Good. How'd you sleep? Look at this view right outside of our window, just over these dunes, the ocean. Really, really pretty here. A little chilly, but we're headed south, down south more, so it should get warmer and warmer. Okay, we are headed up. I am, I should say. Headed up to check out this beach. See what we got. Oh yeah. Oh, the sand is really soft. It's actually really, really nice. There we go. The beach, a little cloudy today. 
the weather's nice. And we got our trailers down there. I'm gonna, everybody's still kind of uh, getting ready. I'm ready. Rock and roll. So I'm gonna hang out for a second up here. Here I am, ready to relax. Read the book for a little bit. Uh, and just, just chill. Here we go. This is a good one. So I'll let you know how it goes. Man, this is beautiful. Baja so far is not disappointing. I would consider this day one, but yesterday was day one. But we just crossed the border and drove mostly. So we'll call this day one. I think this is gonna be a good Romer trip. I think not everybody will enjoy this. Well, we're gonna get on the road soon after I chill for a bit and learn. We are driving right now through, they call, it's like a cactus rock garden. Tons and tons of rocks. And cactuses, it's pretty awesome. Um, on our way back, we're actually gonna camp in an area real close to this, so we'll be able to get more upfront and personal with these. driving through what they call the Badlands because there's basically no gas, no food, no nothing for like a hundred miles. Other than a lot of desert and cactuses. Massive cactuses. They're pretty cool looking actually. Alright, we are in Guerrero Negro and have come to a nice cute little restaurant to have dinner at. Get some real good authentic Mexican food. It's gonna be delicious. 